everybody, I am Christy from Thrift Attic and welcome to my channel. I am a part-time seller on eBay and Poshmark. I've been on eBay for about three years and Poshmark, and not quite a year yet, so I'm still new to that. I sell anything from clothing to hard goods and um, my channel kind of shows you thrift hauls and things that I've sold and things like that. So if you like that, keep watching and maybe think about subscribing. I today have a thrift haul to show you from last month. I have not been thrifting in, since spring break, so it's been a good month and um, I think everybody's kind of in the same boat. I'm really missing it because um, everything is kind of shut down right now and I just thought it's a good time to kind of maybe show this to you. Um, I wanted to post it sooner because it's actually my haul from the Goodwill outlet or what you call the Goodwill bins. And ours is, our closest one is in Fort Worth. Uh, it's still almost like a two hour drive for me, so I don't go that often. However, this last time I went, um, I thought maybe it wouldn't be that crowded, but it was. But I did end up with some good stuff and I stayed there quite some time. So I'd like to share that with you and some of it is for my family and some of it is for reselling and I just like to share what I found. Our Goodwill outlet charges $1.49 a pound. If it's over five pounds, then you just pay a flat fee of $5 for that item. So I did have quite a bit. I think I spent $42. Um, the reason that it was so much this time is because I think the shoes, I got more shoes and they weigh a little more. And if you haven't seen that shop with me video when I went to the bins, you can see it. I'll link it um, up above, but you can kind of see what, what ours looks like and um, how it works and if you've never been. I will say you really have to dig at our bins. It's not set up super organized. They do typically put mostly shoes and purses and some hard goods in one room. Um, when you walk in, it's like to the right. And then most of the clothing is in the main room when you walk in. However, it gets mixed up a lot and it's all thrown in together. It's hard to find mates to shoes. So you really, really have to love thrifting and the thrill of the hunt to kind of work through the Fort Worth bins. Um, it's the only bins I've ever been to. I have seen other videos of other people and heard stories about how their shoes are organized and everything like that. Ours is not like that, so it's a real hunt and that's why I don't go that often and it is, like I said, far away. Anyways, so I apologize first and foremost because I meant to do this video three weeks ago after my trip, but I've had family living here, kind of in between houses, and it has just been a madhouse with children and people everywhere and no time alone, so I've kind of focused on getting some other things done in the meantime, but now that they have moved on, um, kind of have the home back and everything is beginning to have a new normal and we figuring that out as we go. Uh, without talking anymore, I'm going to get into this haul. Okay, you may have seen the thumbnail, but this is the first thing I'm going to show you. I got this super cute wool hat, and I don't know that it's branded or anything. It does have just a tag on the inside, and it even looks like you can't see that very well, but it even looks like it, it was maybe supposed to have something around the rim. I kind of just got it for myself. I don't have one of these, and I, I like to have hats every once and again. So I'm not sure that I would sell this. If I did, it probably wouldn't go for more than $12 to $15 on Poshmark. And it's not something I'd really be interested in selling on eBay because um, I'd have to box it so it wouldn't get smashed. And then that would have like shipping costs go up, and I just don't think it would be worth it to sell on eBay, but on Poshmark with a flat uh, shipping cost, you can put this in a box and it would be protected and it would just be, you know, the $7 um, and some change shipping. But like I said, I think I'm going to keep it for myself and it kind of matches my shirt and I think it's cute. So that's the first thing. Um, this is actually, I'll just kind of show you. I got this bin and I've got some things in here. And then, this huge bag. So I'll go through that next. But first of all, um, I did, I do shop for my family there too while I'm at it. So I'll just kind of show you what I got quickly for 
myself and family. This is just a nice little kind of cable knit top by Chris and Carol. I don't know anything about this brand, but it was soft and casual, and I like things like that where I can just throw those on. This is a super cute swim cover-up, I'm guessing, is what it is. Um, for my daughter and it's just a little Target brand but I remember seeing it in the store and wanting to get it and I just never did and I found it at the bins so I was excited. Oh this. One of my students is going to Texas Tech next year. One of my dance students and uh, this I thought was really cute. She can wear it to work out so I got that for her. They know that I shop at like Goodwill. I even took them one time. And I, I talk about that in one of my videos. So um, she'll be excited to see I found that. This is just a little athletic top by um, Sugoi, I think is how you pronounce it. I think it's a cycling brand. Um, it's not going to go for a whole bunch. In fact, it might go better on eBay because I can ship it for really cheap because it probably will only be like $350 to ship. So I may list it on there first and see how it does. Probably won't get more than $15 to $20 on that. I did come across two purses that are this brand, which is Bagolini. And I've heard some sellers pick these up sometimes. Oh, I think I have my light too bright, so it's not focusing very well. But the reason that I picked this one up is because you can see this subtle print. It's got that like kind of leopard cheetah print. And people like these because I think they're real they're wipeable. They have lots of pockets. Um, like here in the front, it's got three pockets, and then the back, the same thing. It's even got the zipper pocket at the bottom, which I don't even know what that would be for. Do y'all know? Like what would this be for down here? Oh, it like goes all the way through. Okay, well that makes sense. So maybe they could like slide it down on their, um, they used to have a bag that had something on the back where you slide it down on your luggage. That's kind of a small space though, so I don't know. Um, anyways, it has the adjustable strap and the zipper closure, so they're really handy for traveling. And then this one was in impeccable condition. There was a black one that you may have seen me pick up in my haul video if you watched that haul video. I ended up putting it back and getting this one instead because this one was in better shape and I just thought the pattern was really cute. So I don't know that this would go for more than like $20, $25, but it didn't weigh very much. So I maybe paid $1.50 for that. Oh, I grabbed an oven mitt. Gotta wash that. This is something else I um, picked up for my daughter. It's a, a brand I love It's because the cute prints is Matilda Jane, and this has little flamingos on it. I thought it was precious. Um, so, yeah, it looks like it was for sale at Goodwill because they get a lot of donations from the local Goodwill, and it was only marked for $2.49. It is a size 4, so it might be slightly small on her, so she might wear it for a shirt. I have no idea why this wouldn't sell at Goodwill. I don't see any rips or stains, so... Maybe I just missed something, but I thought that was precious. And then this needs some cleaning. But this is a little Pottery Barn pre-K sized backpack. My daughter had one of these when she was smaller. This is too small for her now, but um, I thought if I take some things to the consignment store when those are open again, I was thinking about maybe um, seeing if they would want it but I've got to get some of those stains off. So that's why I'm going to take it to the consignment store. It's just a lot to ship. I love Kate Spade, so I picked up this little bag. And I've seen these at TJ Maxx where they come with like um, a pencil sharpener and a pencil and maybe like a ruler or something. This one does have some markings inside, but it's a cute cloud print. But I like having these in my purse to, to keep receipts and things like that. Um, but anyways, this is probably just for me. Like I said, I pick up things that I like to. This, I had no idea if this was going to be good or not. These look like vintage uh, prescription glasses. And I actually looked up this exact one and because they're really nice. And like I said, they didn't weigh very much. So I sell all kinds of things on eBay. And I think I can get like $25. So that's not bad. 
This I also got there because I love the storage bins and this will go good in my son's room. So, okay, give me a second and then I'm gonna get on to the big bag. Okay, now for this. Oh, here we go. All right, here is another backpack. So this one, it looks heavier than it is. I, I still maybe only paid $2 for this. I couldn't understand why no one would buy this for $7.99 at Goodwill. Because see, this was um, LL Bean, and it doesn't even look like it was used. Everything is in impeccable condition. It's a great backpack. I looked it up on eBay, um, and they were selling for like twenty-five dollars. And I thought, I'll try that. And then I got home and started going through, and I noticed this. This is why no one bought it. It has initials on it. And unfortunately, they're not my daughter's initials, so that's not going to work for us. I don't know that anyone would purchase it, because that's hard to find someone who has the initials ADC or ACD, actually. Um, so I may keep it for when she gets a little bigger, and then get an embroidered patch with her initials over the top. I don't know. Something to think about. Okay. This is, oh, this is just for my car, because we're, we're supposed to go on a trip to the beach this summer. Everything is up in the air now, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. But this goes on the back of your seat, and you put um, just any odds and ends that you need in it. I thought it would be great for traveling to put some stuff for the kids, and I actually was going to get one on Amazon, so when I saw it there, I snagged it, and it didn't weigh very much. Okay. It's been a while since I've even looked at this stuff, so I don't even remember what's in here. But it looks like these are some Chukka boots by Clark's. You can see. So they're in really good condition, for especially for like a light suede. Um, I remember looking them up in the store, and these are a nine, so they're a little bit smaller for a men's, but they're in such good condition. And Clark's is a good brand. It doesn't have a super high resale value. Like, when I first started selling on eBay three years, years ago, I felt like maybe the, the comps were higher and not so much now, but I think those being the condition they are, that they will do well. So I'm hoping to get around 30 for them. These are some really cute neutral pumps. I just loved these. And they reminded me of Kate Spade because of the bow, but they're actually White House Black Market. And um, I think these are a nine. Yes, they're a nine. And the bottoms still look pretty good. But look, they're in great condition. And I don't know that they'll go for a whole lot. There is some marks. I'm going to see if I can get this off. I think it will come off. Um, but hopefully I can get around 25 for these because they're in such good condition and they're neutral and I think they'll be great. This is another brand that doesn't resell for a lot, um, but it's Gianni Beanie and I just thought these were so cute. They're like kind of an espadrille and a platform, which I know is coming back in style. It is a really tall heel, but I liked the look, the kind of boho wooden, I don't know that style. Um, I think it'll be really cute for summer. Um, they are smaller. So it's six and a half. And um, I don't know, I may get 20 out of these. These are heavier, so probably cost me a couple bucks. But for 20 bucks, I think that'll work. I can handle that for $2 into 20. That's not bad. These are nine West. And again, another brand that's good that I actually love, but it doesn't have a high resale value. However, these are in great condition. They're really strappy, so they're something for like an evening. Um, great condition, and these didn't weigh very much at all. So I maybe paid a dollar fifty to two for these as well. I I think I could get like twenty twenty five out of these, hopefully. So those are super cute. Okay, the, I carried one of these around forever until I found the mate. And I mean, literally three hours later, I think I found the mate. I've never heard of it before, but I did look them up and the comps look pretty decent. B. Mikowski, 
if you can see inside there. Um, I don't know. I, I think they're a fun little booty with this like gold chain detail and they're in good condition. Look at the bottoms. So look barely worn. Um, I don't know. I, I was hoping for around 35 for these and it's when I was at the bins and I looked up the comps, I want to say that I saw some sold for like 40 bucks. And then when I got home and I searched again, it's like the comps were changing. So sometimes that happens to me. I don't know if that happens to anyone else, but it's like when you're there and you look it up, they seem high. And then when you get home later, it's like you can't find the same comps. And I sometimes wonder, what did I type different? And I go back into my search to see, and I still just can't seem to find what I thought I saw in the store. And I know I found the exact ones. So I, I don't know. These are kind of a wild card. They could do well or not. I don't know. We shall see. Um, these also are kind of, um, they're just, they're a good shoe. The size is good, but it's called Big Buddha. Can you see? Big Buddha is the brand. And they're in great condition, an espadrille. They're like a kind of a black suede. I just thought they would be great for summer, a great basic. They're a size 10. So I liked that and maybe like $25 out of these. And again, I'll probably put the shoes on Poshmark first and see how they go there. And then, you know, list on eBay later. Those shoes are kind of heavy, so might take a bit to sell them on eBay because they have to pay for shipping by weight. I don't really do free shipping um, on eBay unless it's like a tie or something like that, and then I would. But other than that, I don't. These I bought without looking up comps, and the comps are not that great, maybe $25, $30, but they are coach, and I thought someone would like them. They might take a little bit to sell, especially because they're kind of a brown suede, but I thought the kind of platform look, the chunky hill, um, this detail on the side was really cute, and they kind of remind me of some Gucci ones I've seen, so maybe that'll help the sell value. I don't know, but when I'm at the bins and I see something like that, I'm willing to give it a shot. Which is also these. Um, brand new, still have this stuff in them. They're Mark Fisher, if you can see in there. Um, and they're just a cute little peep toe suede pump. And um, again, classic black. I think. Um, I looked up some and some sold for like 40 and then some sold for 25 so I guess it really depends because um, it is possible that the $40 could have been a bundle with something else and you're not seeing the actual price but um, when comps are all over the place like that I just kind of have to make a call on what I think and even if I only get like $25 out of them I'm okay with that I'm trying to look at what the size is I think it says eight it's very faint, so it's hard to see. So I grabbed those. I can't, I really spent most of my time looking for shoes. Um, I, I'm low on shoes right now, and I like selling them because they sell better than anything else for me. So that's why I spent a lot of time in there. Um, okay, these. Um, these have, you know, got some wear. So I don't know that these are going to go over very well. They are Allen Edmonds, and I've never picked up this brand before. I know it's a really good men's brand, but you can see that they've got something going on here. I don't know if that's just like it's ruined or if it's something on it that it can come off. I've got some cleaner that I can use upstairs. Um, the Doc Martens Wonder Balsam. I don't know how they'll do on patent leather. I'm really going to have to look up some things that maybe I could do, but they could be they could be ruined. I don't know if that's fixable. And then after I clean them up, I'll kind of survey the damage and see if they are worth selling. I don't mind selling things with flaws. I think some people, if they get a good price, they're okay with some flaws. It just depends on how bad they look once I'm done. They are a nine and a half. Um, so I don't know, like I said, it's at the bins, so I was willing to pick it up. I'm probably because they do have a lot of wear, price them really low. Otherwise, these in better condition can go for a, quite a bit of money. But wanted to give them a shot. Here's another thing I picked up that needs some work. 
Um, and unless that something's really cheap, cheap, I don't want to like give a lot of effort into cleaning up some of the things. But this is um, a Cole Haan bag, and it is all leather, so I like that. But you can see it has a lot of wear. But again, that Doc Martens Wonder Balsam, I think is how you say it. It is fantastic and has really made some things that I thought come to life. I was actually surprised at how well it worked, and I just got it off Amazon. You can find it on Amazon, but cute little front pocket. Um, needs some cleaning on the inside. Little pockets on the inside, I think it'll be great. And I liked that you can wear it as a crossbody. Um, I know a lot of people like those, so this is just one of those kind of purses that I might get $25 if it cleans up well. Again, we shall see. Okay, you may have seen me hunting around for the mates to these. I, I found a few and I had to throw some back. These are the little native kids shoes and they're really cute. My kids love wearing these. These have a little bit of wear. Um, these are too small for my daughter, but there is a buy sell trade site on Facebook that you can sell these on. So I'll probably see if I can sell this these there. Um, and then I got some for my son to wear. And then again, after we're done, I usually sell them on that Facebook page. Um, and then, oh, I found another pair. Wait, I think those are the ones that fit her and these are the ones that are too small. Yeah, that's what it is. So these I'm going to sell and the others she'll wear and then I'll see what condition they're in and sell them later. And um, these are great because you can like throw these in the washing machine and or rinse them off. Like a lot of times I'll just like scrub them with um, a scrub brush and some Dawn and some Magic Eraser and that's it. And then they're as good as new. But they're machine washable. So they're great for kids, especially in the summertime. This pair is actually like adult sized. So um, their sizing is weird. Uh, so you have to kind of like look at their size chart to know what your kids will wear because their size is different. Um, these do have some spots on the toes. So I don't know how these will do because they are, like I said, adult sized. But um, we're like a really big kid. But yeah, I might see that there's a market on these on the Facebook page, see how they do. Um, they don't weigh very much, so yeah. Okay, I think this is the last thing. Okay, this boot, um, it's very interesting, but when I saw it, I thought, okay, that's unique, so I've got to look into it. Well, if you see this right here, and they need cleaning up. Lamb is the brand, and I believe this is a boot by Gwen Stefani, and I've never picked it up before, but I have heard of it. This one is really different. It's almost got like this cover lean, and I did find a picture of her wearing her boots here, and then it's got the little key print on the back. I was hoping that this would come off, because um, it Velcros and stuff, to where I could wash it, but it doesn't come all the way off, so I'm gonna try to spot clean it and, and see if that'll work. Otherwise, the boot is in good condition. The leather part is in good condition. Just needs cleaning up a little bit. But they're fun and they're funky. And I, I saw some listed for around $40 to $60. They were kind of all over. Um, I think it'll take a special buyer for these because they are kind of funky. Um, but they're super cool. And in fact, um, I don't know if somebody like threw them back or what, but I grabbed one out of the bin and I was looking for the other. And the same with the coach. I found those coach um, mules at the same time. And I was looking for the other and I couldn't um, really find it. And then I, a lady was on the opposite side of the, the bin I was in and all of a sudden she pulls it up and my heart just like sank. I was like, oh, I think that's the match. And um, I kept kind of looking through for, you know, other shoes and to see if she was going to throw it back or what she was going to decide. And she came around to the side and she saw the boot in my, the, I had it in the top of my car. And she goes, oh, you have the match to this. And she goes, here. And she gave it to me. I was like, thank you. Are you sure? She was like, yeah, but if you don't want them, um, I, I, I want them. And I was like, okay, thank you. So, anyways, I did want them, so I didn't give them up, but she was super nice. I think she might have been a reseller. She was there with a couple other women, and they were, they, 
weren't even there long because I had only seen her just at that time and then that's all I'm checking out later. But I'm super thankful for her because I feel like maybe that's the best thing I picked up at the bins that day. So you can see why maybe my, um, why I spent the $42. I think I have, here's the receipt. Oh, I actually spent not $42, but $52. So, okay, it was a bit more than I thought. Yeah, so I spent a little more than I thought. Um, it's because I picked up all those heavy shoes. Okay, that is it. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I found. I love sharing it with you guys. It's just something fun that I love to do. Um, that's kind of how it turned into a business, like a side business for me. Um, it's because I've always loved to go in thrift shop. It's just a thrill of a hunt for me. I've always purchased things for my family and myself. Um, and I literally shop for everybody when I'm out. Right now, it's so hard not to be able to go because there's so many times that I just get that urge to like go see what they have and they're all closed. So hopefully soon life will get back to normal and we can begin reopening businesses and I can um, start up again. In the meantime, I have just been slowly listing things that I have because I actually always have a death pile. I know some people don't like that. Me on the other hand, because I like to shop so much and I do have a full-time job. Otherwise, I don't have as much time to list everything that I come across. Um, so that's kind of helped me out in this time um, because I still have plenty of things to list. And that's another reason I kind of held off on this because I listed some of the other things I had and now I'm getting to this and I'm going to be done and I'm actually not going to have a death pile. It's crazy. So what will happen at that point is I'll clean out my closet and start uh, selling some of that stuff. Well, thanks again for watching. If you liked it, I would love for you to, like I said, this subscribe down below, maybe give me a thumbs up, and I hope you come back and check out some of my other videos. Thanks again. Happy thrifting.